question to you people is, should I use this or the beautiful Sennheiser shotgun that's on the thing? I can't answer that because I don't hear what... Actually, nobody, not, nobody's hearing it. So let's go to guitars because you care more about that than Sennheiser microphones. Have I said Sennheiser? Have I said Sennheiser enough, Sennheiser people? Where's my damn money? I mean, nothing. Um, Jörg. Hi, Henning. You have my hair. Yeah, kind of sim similar hairdo. Yeah. And then there's the Tone Fox man, and he has the same hairdo. I have a hunch that cool people have that hair. I mean, you got the cleanest, I would say. Yeah, but you shave, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You don't uh, turn around. No, you don't have that much of a problem, I think. Oh, there is a problem, trust me. If they grow? Not beautifully. We, we got uh, uh, pieces. Uwe <laughs> too. Yeah. There's yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit. Nothing, nothing. Let's, uh, we can do whatever we want to. It grows nothing anymore. So. But you build beautiful guitars, so you don't need Thank hair. You. So um, let's go into uh, the Servietten guitar. Oh, yeah. okay. Do you guys know what a Servietten guitar is? That is a paper napkin guitar. It's paper, made out of paper, paper napkins, napkins, right? No, the guitar is made out of wood. <laughs> Jörg is a smart ass for anyone who doesn't know Jörg. This is what a smart ass looks like. <laughs> the, 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 the finish, the, the paper napkins, this is just a, a kind of hobby which usually a lot of German women uh, tend to do in their in their spare time. We like decorate with paper napkins. You can decorate with paper napkins almost every thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Give me I'm an bad, example. Um, some some a vase. Vases, yeah. yeah. Flower vases yeah. and shit, all kind of shit. Well, I don't care what the thing looks like because it's a tumbler, so it's always going to be an amazing guitar. And I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. That's just from me playing them. That's uh, it's, it's, uh, an interesting thing. It's about 10 years old. I made a whole moto set with these kind of paper napkins together with this guitar. This is Jürgen's, you know Jürgen? Mm -hmm. Jürgen Kirschnes of CMS Music. He uh, lent me this guitar for the show. And uh, it was from, from Frankfurt Messe in 2000. Nine, yeah. I made a moto set. Uh, uh, I put put the flower napkins on a on a Marshall plexi head and on a Kunz cabinet, a two by twelve, and and on the guitar. And he had this triple piece. Does Jürgen own the whole thing? He owns the whole thing, yeah. He has Jürgen has all the cool shit. God damn it. Um, let's do the, well, we can do one test to see how good the guitar is. Yep, low action, no buzz. Low action, no buzz. Is this a very special model here? What's the deal with this? Because this um, looks like it's a very unique design, very forward thinking. Silent guitar, Yamaha had something. Yamaha has a silent guitar. <laughs> this is taking the silent guitar to a whole new level. Just remove the pickups and the strings and the bridge and the electronics. Um, still had, it had not seen any of them yet. Yeah, it's actually in the stage before finishing. Yeah. Cheddar, what do you think about the action? <laughs> Very low. Lowest action. Lowest action, he says, yeah. yeah I thought my, some people may find it interesting to see a thing like that without lacquer. You can have a look inside and can see how I put it together. You can see the uh, precision joints and shit. There's no wood putty in it and, and nothing. Uh, it's maybe, maybe it's interesting. You know what it isn't? It's not authentic. That's what it is. I, I think I know what you mean, yeah? It's oh, it's very authentic in, in, in some ways, maybe more, maybe even more. I, I would think the way you're building it is probably way more authentic compared to a lot of the, I mean, you know, what I they're calling in, authentic. I put in a couple of uh, modern components. I don't want to have uh, a uh, not really functioning vintage guitar copy. So you, we, we already talked about that. I got these ACS carbon fiber reinforcements in the neck and shit. And I got a different headstock, which uh, is much smaller and much more durable. And the guitar stays much more in tune. So you mean this doesn't have headstock breakage issues? 
I mean, if you really smash it, it maybe cracks off, but it is. I mean, the authentic brand has has issue. You can't do this with a big competitor competitor's guitar. You can't even do this. It will break off, and it's modernized in a way that. Which it's is probably a good thing. Mm-hmm. Fuck authentic. Let's make him good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a luthier, and. Uh, Your job is to create a I, I tool, would, not history. I mean, this. Let's talk about it. I mean, uh, Gibson makes Gibson guitars, and if they want to make a copy of a '59, uh, that's their own right. Yeah, but it's not my intention to copy a '59. I would like to copy the tone of a '59 because I think it's cool mm-hmm. of an original '59. Yeah, and that's my aim. But put it in a. Or to put it in a, on a higher level concerning the function of the guitar, the playability, and so your goal is uh, to to have the tone we crave, but build a better instrument. A better instrument, yes. Yeah, sure. And I've played them, and they are. Thank so um, that's I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand the mic to Cheddar again because he's got a he has very very nice high end guitars. Mm-hmm. He just spent how much on your Gibson? How much? Six grand. So he just spent. He ha- he has a lot of nice guitars. I want them to hold one of these. We're gonna swip swap here. The weight feels great. The neck shape is fantastic. Of course, the fretwork is flawless. I can't really play and hold the mic at the same time, but okay. Thank you, Henny. It feels really, really good. Uh, the neck joint is traditional, but well, well, well done. The guitar tit is completely out of the way. Sometimes those uh, volutes are there and they're like right where you want your hand to be up here. But this one is completely out of the way, which you can see it's there. It's reinforcing, making it stronger. It actually has one. Yeah, Uh, but it's out of the way. It's not getting in your way when you're trying to play up by the nut. See even the the hole here, it's... Yeah. It's much smaller yeah. than an original design. That's one reason why it doesn't break off that easy. Yeah. Paying attention and fixing the things that maybe you're paying attention and fixing the things that maybe weren't optimal on those originals. You know, a lot, it's a romantic notion to think that they got it right the first time, but statistically, it seems unlikely that people get it right the first time. Yeah, this feels really good. I'd, I'd like to be able to plug it in. What kind of pickups are on this? These are on this old pickups. Oh, okay. They were made in Germany by a guy in Han- Hanover, okay. and he doesn't wind pickups anymore. Uh, you can't get them anymore. I would today. I would, if somebody wants an authentic, old-style P90, 50s P90 sound, I would advise to use Klopmans. Okay. They deliver. I haven't heard those. The carve is really, really well done. And if you can see that on the camera, one of the things Gibson isn't consistent about is the quality of the top carve. Uh, but this one is gorgeous. Thank you for the reinforcement so it's not wiggling. So that's really nice. Yeah. Very beautiful. Very well made. This is really interesting. This is a tone folks. It's really cool seeing the, the tone folks double cut away against your uh, s- single cut there. Yeah, we actually have this uh, couple we made before that, uh, before that trade show. Uh, they are made out of the same kind of wood, of the same plank of wood. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. And uh, he's a young colleague. I helped him out here in finishing. He got my old stock lacquer. <laughs> I, I gave it to him and... Uh, we sprayed the color together and, and shit like that. Yeah. And, uh, it, it looks really awesome seeing them next to each other like that. Yeah, I think so. These are awesome guitars. We both got an anniversary this year. This is the reason why we made them. Yeah, he's got, I think, 25 years of uh, making guitars. I got 35. <laughs> <laughs> I think at that point you could stop calling him the young colleague. You're basically the same at that point. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, Henning, is there anything else you want to talk about? I'm I'm blown away by these. I guess I'll go ahead and end the video. Thank you for talking to us and Animals at the End. <laughs>
Thank you. Yeah.